Serena Fazan. Thank you for joining us. I'm John Sable. We've seen them on national headlines, e-cigarettes and vape pens exploding, causing burns and serious injuries. But tonight, St. Pete investigators believe an exploding vape pen killed a Bay Area man. Our Isabel Rosales spoke to the woman who identified him and breaks down a federal report on these devices. Firefighters arrived at this house ready to fight a fire, but when they rushed upstairs, a 38 year old man was already dead. Now investigators believe that one of these are to blame. We saw the smoke coming out of the, the roof and so you know, we were just hoping that nobody was home, but then we found out that Wake was home. Dale Klein talking about her longtime neighbor, 38 year old Talmadge Wakeman Delia. It was Klein who had to identify him after almost 45% of his body was burned. It blows my mind that something you could do something like that. Deputy Fire Marshal Stephen Lawrence believes an exploding vape pen may be to blame for Delia's death. It's like having a small or, you know, a little larger than a firecracker in your hand and it can explode and then at that point uh, it can project either the pieces of the uh, lighter itself or the vape pen. Um, they become pieces of flying debris and shrap metal. If this is indeed what happened, it could be the first vape pen explosion death in the nation. According to this FEMA report, from 2000 to 2016, there were nearly 200 such reported explosions, but no one died. But 29% suffered severe injuries. Lauren says it's because explosions can happen if the lithium battery overheats. And when they do happen, the shape of the devices make them behave like flaming rockets. Lauren says they won't know the official cause of death until an autopsy is completed. Dale says this has shaken her. She has a teen son. Make sure that people know that these things are not as safe as they think they are. Authorities are expecting to get an official cause of death by early this week. As soon as we know anything new, we'll pass that along. In St. Pete, I'm Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News.